What's well, everybody? My name is Scott Waters, and welcome to No Life to Metal. Going to be doing a No Life to Metal graphics update today, and I'd like to introduce you to uh, Backbreaker Records. So, Backbreaker Records is a brand new label out of the U.S., um, focusing on hard rock and heavy metal, mostly metal. And um, I have been hired to do their artwork. So, so far, we've done six reissues, and they're working on signing some new bands as well. So that's exciting. Backbreakerrecords.com. I'll be sure to put a link down here so you guys can get to it if you're interested in it. But first release, the second album from Lazarus AD. This is Black Rivers Flow. And I did all the artwork on this. I didn't create the cover. Obviously, it's a reissue. But I did enhance the cover quite a bit. As you can see, there's quite a bit of detail in this black and gray cover. And then there's the gold logo. Well, it depends on what pressing you have of the original CD release. The U.S. pressing was so dark, it just looked black. I mean, it, you know, none more black, Spinal Tap. Um, the detail was washed out. But if you get the Japanese pressing, it looks more like this, where you can actually see all the details in the river. And, yeah, it came out really great. And then, of course, the back cover has a similar vibe with the, the guys, you know, in black and gray. Um, just great metal, uh, thrash metal. A little bit of groove uh, in this one, you know, Pantera-ish groove. Not quite as fast and furious as the first album, but still has a lot of fast songs on it. And there's the insert, all black and white, as it goes with the whole theme of the album. And I'm getting a lot of glare, my apologies. The vinyl itself is on, whoops. The vinyl itself comes in a black polyline sleeve. The record itself, it has a had, I tore it off, obviously, off the... Uh, shrink wrap but this is the hype sticker and it says thrash silver and black river splatter first time on vinyl mixed by james murphy of testament death and obituary and then, as you can see it's limited run vinyl pressing who i do a lot of work with and metal blade so um it's interesting because all these labels are kind of crossing over now doing stuff um but here's the uh the vinyl it's pretty cool. It goes very well with the cover art, um, which is why we picked it. Uh, so, really happy with how this one came out. It sounds fantastic. It's been um, remastered for vinyl, and it sounds superb. Um, I really wish the uh, this is unlike some of the other projects that are on um, this label. The band wasn't involved at all. Um, it was just straight up, you know, dealing with labels. Um, unfortunately, they really couldn't get a hold of the band for some reason, but um, I'm sure the band will eventually get their copies because this label will always makes sure the band gets their their copies. So, Lazarus, Black Rivers Flow, fantastic album. It's your second album. Their first album is also available, um, The Onslaught. This one was released last year on, a, on um, Brutal Planet Records. But I believe you can get copies of both at BackbreakerRecords.com if you're interested. Okay, next up, three from the same band. This is Battlecross with their first album, Pursuit of Honor. Um, this one was re originally released independently, I believe, by the band, and then was either re-recorded or remixed by... Um, I believe it was James Murphy who remixed it, I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, but I could be wrong. Regardless, the, the has a custom hype sticker on the front you can see here. It says, Blood Moon Vinyl, Thrash and Death Metal Juggernaut, Push, Pull, Destroy, Number One Most Requested Song on Sirius XM Liquid Metal 2012 for five weeks in a row. And again, you can see the Metal Blade logo and the um, Limited Run Vinyl logo on there. So that's the cover, the back cover, which I tried really to say really close to the original um, you know, look of the CD, and then band photo, and line wrote some lyrics, and finally, black polyline sleeve, and it's really dark, but translucent red with black marbling in it, and it looks a lot lighter on this on there than it actually does in person because it's got light coming through it. But yeah, it came fantastic. Uh, again, sounds great. It was specifically mastered for vinyl, so it sounds really, really good. Um, it sounds as good as a CD, in my opinion. So um, there's no CD reissue on this this one because there's plenty of CDs out there 
but it was never on vinyl before, so Metal Blade Records and Backbreaker Records teamed up to finally get this thing on vinyl. So there you go. And then we've got Rise to Power, Battle Cross. Again, I tried to stay really close to the original, you know, CD pressing so that, you know, I don't want something completely different. It needs to look as close as possible to the original. But um, I did do the full layout, front and back, custom sticker, and it says uh, Silver Bullet Power Vinyl, Detroit Blue Collar Thrash Metal reached number four in the Billboard Heat Seekers chart September 2015. And again, you can see the Limit Run Vinyl and Metal Blade logos. And then, then there's the Backbreaker logo on the back backbreakerrecords.com if you're interested in picking this one up or any of these photo of the band liner notes and lyrics and and there's the vinyl itself it's an opaque vinyl they call it silver bullet Looks a little bluish on the screen, but it's very much like a black and a silver. Black and grays. Matches the cover great, so I, I, I'm really happy with how this one came out as well. No complaints. Um, they did a great job on this one. Everybody did. Right down for the manufacturing plant, everybody did a great job on this. And, and the band has been promoting these on their uh, social media as well. So, very cool. Thank you to the band for helping to... Uh, you know, get the word out that these are finally out on vinyl. They did get their copies. As a matter of fact, they did a video showing them and where they were really super excited about, you know, getting vinyl copies of their of their music. I know how that is because the first time I saw, you know, a vinyl of Ultimatum, I was stoked. So, yeah. One more. Last one for this video, but this is also Battlecross. This is uh, War of Will. I did again the layout for the whole thing. I did not design that cover, although I think that cover is badass. Front and back. Custom hype sticker again. Amber Wave Vinyl. Thrash Melodic Death Metal with Rapid Fire Guitar Heroics. First time on vinyl for fans of. I don't know that I agree with this one, but we'll see. For fans of All That Remains, Kill Switch Engage, Shadows Fall, and. and uh, I can't read that one. Uh, anyhow, I don't know. It's this is definitely blue collar thrash metal. I, I don't. It does have harsh, aggressive vocals. I don't really hear a whole lot of, you know, uh, metalcore on here. But um, whatever. <laughs> Backbreaker Records, and we've got an insert, which is, here it is. So you got lyrics, band photo. I like the way the white border came out on this one. Cover, back cover also has the white border. And then finally, the Amber Wave vinyl. This is a translucent vinyl, and again, it's in a black polyline sleeve. And it is, again, much brighter because the light's coming through it than you, if you're holding it in your hand. But it's kind of this yellowish gold color with lots of black marbling in it. It's a really beautiful vinyl. But yeah, you can see it's translucent. Again, mastered, remastered for vinyl. It sounds superb. Um, highly recommend them if you're into thrash metal. Um, yeah, that's it. So um, I've done a lot of stuff recently. I've got tons of stuff to show. But I really wanted to do this introduction to Backbreaker Records because they just got so much stuff coming out in the next few months. Um, I just finished up two more projects for them. Um, Iced Earth. They, uh, they're taking pre-orders now for Iced Earth Melancholy EP. Only 300 pressed worldwide. Those are... I'd, I'd be surprised if they're still there. Um, they may be some left. But anyhow, Iced Earth uh, Melancholy EP. It's um, It has seven songs on it. Uh, the original only had five. So it's you know a longer album now. And also, uh, Lacuna Coil um, Unleashed Memories, I believe it is. And I did all the artwork and, and layouts for that as well. And it all too was, you know, all remastered for vinyl. And then after that, um, there's two re-releases from Firewind coming out. So I'm looking forward to those. I'm a huge Firewind fan. So uh, Gus G is just a fantastic guitar player. And then uh, after that, some Dream Evil. So these guys got a lot coming out. Do check them out. Um, BackbreakerRecords.com. Again, I'll put the link in, in the bottom. Appreciate y'all watching. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of these layouts. 
Let me know what you think of these bands. That's it. God bless. Stay strong.